Hi everyone, um, this is Adele and if you're new to my channel, welcome and if you're a returning viewer, hi again. Um, today we are going to talk about five um, easy to care plants for beginners plus an additional two that I think for everyone it's kind of like easy but some still don't think it's easy so in in total we have seven plants but five i think is the easiest and two is just extra <laughs> okay number one uh again this is not in order um it's not like in a favorite um ranking or something <laughs> It's just the, uh, the nearest one and going like that. <laughs> okay, number one would be the CC plant or Sansibar gem. And this one is an easy plant because you can put them in a low to medium bright light or indirect, sorry. A low to medium indirect sunlight and you don't need to water the CC plant because not that much it, it can tolerate like sometimes neglect <laughs> that's why it's so easy because it got like a uh, tubers that restore um, water so you rather really water the CC, the CC plant like when it's dry um, that's number one CC plant and number two is going to be the potos golden potos um, in the UK I think it's commonly known as devil's ivy or golden potos um, I will just put the the name like latin name on the description or at the screen this one is also an easy plant because you can put them in a low to medium indirect sunlight if you want a uh, more variegation on the leaves uh, you have to put them like uh, in a more lighted area because uh, you need um, more sunlight if you want the variegation because if you put them in a uh, low light you, you might lose some variegation but for me it's it's all right if it has like variegation or not because uh, I think it's the character of the plant that's really enjoyable to look at uh, so the second one the second one easiest plan to take care of is the potos you can water them when it's it's dry they're really forgiving if you forget about to water them the next time you remember you water them they're gonna perk up again and it's easy to propagate also I'll talk about that next time <laughs> um, and then the third plant is the cactus or cacti this one this is really easy I have this for a long time now maybe I don't know seven years uh, at first I always put it somewhere like <laughs> there's not much light and it doesn't really do anything and it was in a smaller pot and I didn't notice that it was like having babies on the side but when I transfer it it lose a lot because it, it lose a lot of the babies because I didn't know that it has babies and it wasn't growing because it was in a small pot so now I, I'm giving it more light uh, it's kind of like grow like that it, it used to be like like a round but now it's like um, growing towards the Sun but yeah, 
third plant easiest cacti you don't need to water them like that much sometimes only like once a week or even once every two weeks it depends you have to really it depends on where you put them like if you put them in a terracotta pot or in a plastic pot and where you put your plants really so you have to check if it's like still moist the soil is still moist or dry but yeah another easy plant is the cacti the fourth plant for today would be the spider plant uh, I'm not gonna try to really say the other name I'll just put them like on the screen below um, spider plant is on my list because it's really easy this actually is a baby of the mother plant uh, I have this for four months now and it's so big and I put them usually on top of the shelving in my kitchen and it doesn't really get that much light but they're still growing I only if I put this one like near the windowsill the leaves I've noticed turns like grayish green or it looks grayish green to me but when I start that that's a time that I know that it needs watering but when I give it water it goes back to green so another easy plant to take care of is spider plant and you just really have to water your spider plant when it's uh, a bit dry the soil is a bit dry not the leaves the soil is a bit dry um that's number four easiest plant now it's for the fifth one which is i think everyone guess which one it's the snake plant i think it's in everyone's easiest um plants for beginners this is the sensiveria trifasciata or everyone calls it as a snake plant but I think uh, Sansevieria is now classified as Dracaena but I still call it Sansevieria because I'm used to it so this is Sansevieria um, it needs low to medium indirect light uh, but I've noticed with Sansevieria um, when you put them in a low light they still grow but slowly but when you put them like in a windowsill or in a bright indirect light they start producing more babies and they grow a bit faster not faster but a bit faster <laughs> um so i put them in a terracotta pot because i know sensevieria likes to be dry I mean soil to be dry and um, I only water them when they're kind of dry um, the trick is if you don't have I usually use my water is it moisture meter moisture meter or if I'm too lazy sometimes you know too many plants I just can like put my finger like it has to be like two like up to like on this line here and if I know that it's dry I water them and for my two bonus plants that I think it's easy and everyone should have is the parlor palm it's like so tropical isn't it <laughs> but it's really easy i think i bought this at ikea seven years ago <laughs> seven years or eight years ago 
and now it's really big well it should have been bigger if I really take good care of it that's why I said this is an easy plant because I put them I put it I put this plant before in like a glass uh, how do you call it? vase glass vase and I keep watering it I thought it's dry because you know when you see the glass and then you don't see the water anymore you think it's dry but it's still grown like really when I took it out it grown more like I did um, take some of the old leaves like you can see you got like a good base here now so yeah I put this as the uh, one of the easiest plant because even if we go on holiday it's still alive like for a month really no joke <laughs> it's alive so this is one of the bonus one guys um if you want like a tropical vibe in your uh, home um get a parlor palm it's a chamidoria elegance um so that's it the last one for the easiest plants for beginners and those two are uh the parlor palm and this last one is just a bonus because i know some people kind of like think it's hard to take good care of them but it's really easy guys uh, take it from me because if i can do it you can do it too <laughs> and the last one is everyone's favorite you know instagrammer youtuber i think most of the people plant lovers have monstera now this one is a propagated one and it grown so big now and it's really easy guys if you can get your hands on uh, Monstera Deliciosa please get it and it's really um, tropical vibes will be like easy to get when you have this kind of plant um, I always put them in a terracotta pot because Monstera likes to be dry and I only water it really when the soil is dry. Um, this one is, I won't say low, I think it, this plant is medium to bright in direct light. And you'll just see it thrive. See the new baby? I can't wait for it to open. And that's it, guys. If I forgot anything, and then if you have more tips for me and suggest other plans for me, that's alright also. Please like this video comment below and it will be really really great if you subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching